Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we'll be going over a perfectly strong Bias Brian endgame build that you can use for season activities and all Grandmaster content. It has everything you would want from healing, debuffs, damage boost, AoE lockdown, etc. All the stuff you expect for an endgame build. So why don't we make a start, shall we? For starting traits, you're going to want to have Chaos Accelerant where your grenades can be overcharged for a different effect. Then you want Child of the Old Gods where upon casting a Rift, you'll also cast a Void Soul. Damage you can target with Void Soul will drain them and give back Grenade, Midi, Class Ability and Health for the user. Using Briar's Bind effect of locking down areas with extended sanction, damage and ability to be reused wherever you like, we can customise our abilities to accommodate the debuff effect to the fullest via Grenade's enhancements. The fragments used are Echo Remnant where your Lingering Grenade duration are increased. Echo Starvation where picking up a Void Breach or an Aura Power grants Devour. Echo Explosion where Void Ability Thunder Blows cause targets to explode. And Echo Persistence where Void Buffs applied to you are increased. Void Souls can't be improved on further outside of the use of the Exotics and Echo Explosion effect. This alone means focus on the grenades or melee usage does get increased for the player's choice. Using something like Vortex Grenades with Void Souls effect will allow players to maximise the amount of damage that can be pulled off in one area, while also granting users ability energy back if killed by the Void Soul itself. With that, it's always best to focus on enhancing Lingering Grenade's duration, damage and effect, just so we don't have to rely on the use of our heavy weaponry for a big overkill. For the mods and stats, Recovery up Tier 10 and your Discipline at Tier 10 is pretty much the only two stats players will need to 100% invest in which is great from a new player perspective. Recovery at tier 10 will provide users a 48 second cooldown upon use and will become shorter over time if you use Braze Inheritance Origin trait and Void Souls with Fall Effect as well. This is an easy stat to reach at tier 10 without the needs of mods as long as you invest in the high recovery stat from armors. However, having Bolstering Destination and Orbs of Restoration mods as extra add-ons is useful for progressing your stats as you casually play along. We also have the Reaper and Firepower mod which will bolster Orbs of Restoration effect upon activation but also grant super energy back to us at a faster rate. Your Discipline at tier 7 is also fine to keep how it is as we can make use of the Font of Discipline mod which will provide us with a plus 30 to the current stat so we overall get a tier 10 once active. At tier 10 and using Vortex Grenades it will grant you a minute 16 second cooldown rate which will be reduced further upon Void Souls getting kills. This does not need additional mods, but as we have Orbs of Restoration available, this will help out here and there. This section now focuses on armor charges and additional optional mods applied. Charged up times one mod will expand how many charges we can carry once we collect all the power. After that, having the Fire Power mod, Connect Cypher mod, Reaper, and Powerful Attraction mod will further help with creating orbs at a faster rate and collecting them as well. All of this will be built into the Kinetic Surge mod times 1 which will provide a 7% damage boost and the Time Dilation mod for extended time based mod duration. Lastly, having the Powerful Friends mod will be helpful for team support and generally how often you will be collecting all the power within your current setup. For weapons, we have the Wish and the Bow. The following is seen pretty much everywhere in in-game and this pure heavy damage it can inflict makes it a top contender for dealing with all types of enemies in-game. For me, using the bow with this build is a no-brainer as our Void Souls will be applying a debuff to anything that get caught within its range. This is useful as we don't have to rely on outside fragments or weaponry to apply an extra debuff to a target when that is simply free for us to use. At the same time, the combo does allow us to save heavy ammo on more important targets with how hard hitting it does become. Just one Kinetic Surge mod or a debuff is enough to turn this bow into a heavy weapon of its own kind. For heavy, we have the Commoration from the DSC raid, and my version has redirection and reconstruction. I covered this before in the last video, also talking about the exotic, but simply put, the weapon's origin trait, Braze Inheritance, allows us to get ability energy back when DNA hits with the weapon. We get a 0.42% ability energy return from hits made, which is small at first, but does add up over time when you apply something like reconstruction to the mix. Now, this is useful simply because the weapon has already a big magazine size to boot of around 59, and is also useful for those emergency class ability regen when needed. But 
also allows you to spam void souls at half the rate or waiting for them to naturally regen. Blight's Bime has been in the game for a good few months now, and although I don't see a lot of players using Exotic for how strong it is, uh, truthfully it's one of the best Exotics to own when you're doing anything and all things in game. Void souls are overall amazing for locking down, debuffing, enhancing, regenerating ourselves, all with a simple rift used. And with a right setup, you can create another void soul within simple ease. They have good duration while on the field, and overall can shut down a large group straight away. It's because of them alone that I find using the Seekant Filaments and Sanguine Alchemy with the following a perfect combo to really show off its strength. A Briar's Bound now just enhances this further by allowing us to create multiple void souls at once, be able to pick them up and extend their usage and increase the damage and durability as time goes on. With how strong something like this in its base form is like, having Briar's Bind just makes them even more powerful to use in end game. Combining the following with a setup that allows players to get back health fast via Devour and then using something like Wish Ender to further bulletproof the build and just like that, you have a Grandmaster build available for each season that only needs the secondary and heavy weapon to be changed every now and then. Now, it's not busted or super legendary OP that most people will try to sell to you of, but because of how lightweight and simple the build is, you're getting pretty much everything you'll need for an endgame build with minimum effort. We already have a maxed out recovery stat, but having a perk or two that generate class ability energy is definitely useful if you want to keep your one special ability up and running as often as possible. In fact, since Void Souls will be giving you ability energy back upon kills made by it, you can easily bring out about 3 plus Void Souls in one area and shut that area down completely as if you're using a stasis subclass. Overall, fantastic exotic with a fantastic synergy for a lot of exotics and settlers in mind. If you want a powerful endgame build with little hassle, then this build is what you're looking for. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.